Have you ever wondered why we can't see the dodo bird anymore? Let's delve into the tale of the dodo, a bird that once strutted the earth, yet is now nothing more than a haunting echo in the annals of history. The dodo was no ordinary bird. It was a feathered enigma cloaked in mystery and intrigue. Native to the lush tropical island of Mauritius, the dodo was a creature like no other. It was a large, flightless bird standing about three feet tall and tipping the scales at around 20 kilograms. Its plumage was a dull gray, while its beak, a stark contrast, was a striking blend of green, yellow, and black. The dodo's stout legs supported its hefty body, but its tiny wings were a stark reminder of its inability to take to the skies. The dodo's habitat was as unique as the bird itself. Mauritius, an island lost in the vast Indian Ocean, was a paradise isolated from the rest of the world. This isolation played a vital role in shaping the dodo's evolution. As there were no natural predators to fear, the bird lost its ability to fly over centuries of evolution. It lived a life of blissful ignorance, unaware of the dangers lurking beyond its island sanctuary. The dodo's oblivion to danger was further exacerbated by its peculiar trait of not fearing humans. This lack of fear was not a sign of bravery, but rather an unfortunate consequence of its secluded lifestyle. The bird had no reason to fear humans, for it had never encountered them. This innocence, however, would prove to be its downfall. The dodo, a bird that was a marvel of evolution, was confined to a small corner of the world. It was an avian anomaly that did not fear humans, and it was unable to take flight. This was a bird that despite its physical grandeur and unique nature, was ill-prepared for the brutality of the outside world. A bird that didn't fear humans existed in a small region and didn't fly. The perfect setup for a tragedy. Imagine stepping onto an island and encountering a bird that shows no fear of humans. A curious sight indeed, and one that the Dutch sailors, the first recorded visitors to the island of Mauritius, experienced in the late 16th century. This peculiar bird, as tall as a turkey, with a stout body, a hooked beak, and feathers of a grayish hue, was unlike anything they'd ever seen. It waddled its way towards the sailors, its small wings fluttering in a display of innocent curiosity, a creature so alien yet so unafraid it was a sight to behold. The sailors called it dodo, a derivative of the Dutch word dodas, meaning fat ass, a rather unsophisticated moniker for such a fascinating creature, but it stuck. The dodo bird, as we know it today, was born. But the dodo's lack of fear was its downfall. Unfamiliar with predators, it did not run or fly away when approached. This made it an easy target for the sailors, who found it a convenient source of fresh meat. However, accounts from the time suggest that the dodo's meat was not particularly tasty, but when food was scarce, it was enough. Moreover, the sailors' arrival disturbed the equilibrium of the island's ecosystem. The dodo, which had evolved over thousands of years in isolation, suddenly found itself contending with new threats. The sailors brought with them other animals like dogs, pigs, and monkeys who plundered the dodo's nests feasting on their eggs. In the blink of an eye, the dodo's world was turned upside down. From living a peaceful existence on an island where it had no natural predators, the dodo was suddenly thrust into a fight for survival, a fight it was ill-equipped to win. And so the first domino falls, beginning the tragic tale of the dodo bird's extinction. As we delve deeper into this story, we'll examine how human intervention played a pivotal role in the rapid decline of this unique and intriguing bird. As more and more humans arrived, the dodo's peaceful existence was shattered. The Dutch, in their quest for spices and new territories, set their sights on the unspoiled island of Mauritius in the late 16th century. With the arrival of these seafarers, the tranquil life of the dodo was about to take a turn for the worse. The Dutch invasion wasn't a hostile takeover in the traditional sense. There were no battles to be won, no native population to subdue. Instead, the Dutch found an island paradise teeming with unfamiliar animals and lush vegetation. The dodo, with its inability to fly and lack of fear of humans, was an easy target for these newcomers. But it wasn't just the hunting that posed a threat to the dodo. As the Dutch established their presence on the island, 
they began to alter the landscape to suit their needs. Forests were cut down to make way for plantations, stripping the dodo of its natural habitat. The birds, once free to roam the island, were now confined to smaller and smaller areas, struggling to find food and shelter. But perhaps the most devastating blow to the dodo population came with the introduction of new species to the island. The Dutch brought with them pigs, monkeys, and rats, invasive species that competed with the dodo for resources. These new arrivals had a significant impact on the island's ecosystem, disrupting the balance that had existed for millennia. The dodo, once unchallenged and thriving, was ill-equipped to handle these changes. They couldn't compete with the invasive species, nor could they adapt to the rapid transformation of their environment. The dodo, a creature that had evolved over millions of years to fit perfectly into its niche, was suddenly out of place in its own home. The dodo bird, once the king of its domain, now found itself fighting for survival. The invasion of Mauritius marked the beginning of the end for this unique bird, setting it on a path towards extinction that it could not divert from. The dodo bird's decline was as swift as it was brutal. In a matter of decades, this flightless wonder of nature was driven to the edge of oblivion. The reasons are manifold with hunting, habitat destruction, and competition with invasive species being the main culprits. The Dutch colonists who landed on Mauritius in the late 16th century saw the dodo as a source of easy meat. Being flightless and unafraid of humans, they were easy pickings for hungry sailors. The birds were clubbed to death, their eggs plundered, and their young taken by the hundreds. It wasn't sport, it wasn't malice, it was a simple matter of survival for the colonists, but for the dodo, it spelled disaster. Next came the onslaught on their home. The lush forests of Mauritius were raised to make way for sugarcane plantations. The dodo's habitat was systematically destroyed, leaving them homeless and exposed. Without the cover of the forest, they were even more vulnerable to hunting and predation. But perhaps the most insidious threat to the dodo came from the very ships that brought the colonists. Stowed away in the holds were rats, cats, and pigs, foreign species to Mauritius. Once they were on the island, they thrived. These invasive species wreaked havoc on the dodo's nests, devouring eggs and chicks with impunity. The dodo, having evolved without natural predators, had no defense against these relentless invaders, the combined effect of these assaults was catastrophic. The dodo population, once plentiful, dwindled at a terrifying pace. Within a few decades, sightings of the bird became increasingly rare. They retreated deeper into the shrinking forests, their numbers falling year after year. In less than a century, the dodo bird was on the brink of extinction. The rapidity of the decline was shocking, a stark reminder of just how devastating human interference can be on a species. The dodo had thrived in isolation for thousands of years. Yet within a blink of an eye in the grand timeline of history, they were pushed to the precipice. Can you imagine being the last of your kind? In the late 17th century, the dodo bird, a creature so unique and distinctive, began to vanish from the lush green landscapes of Mauritius. The last known sightings of this remarkable bird were recorded around 1681, with the dodo's disappearance, the world lost more than just a species. We lost a symbol of the wild, untamed beauty of nature, a creature that had lived and thrived on its own terms. As the years passed, the dodo's absence was felt more profoundly. Reports from sailors and explorers once filled with tales of these curious, flightless birds fell silent. The forests of Mauritius, once punctuated by the dodo's distinctive call, grew quieter. The realization of the dodo's extinction was a slow, creeping dread that gradually dawned upon those who remembered the bird's existence. The loss of the dodo was not just a loss for Mauritius, but for the world. It marked the first time that humanity had to confront the harsh reality of our impact on the natural world. This was not the loss of an individual creature. This was the loss of an entire species, a void that could never be filled. The impact of the dodo's extinction was felt far and wide. It sparked a revolution in our understanding of the natural world and our role within it. It marked a turning point, 
a moment of realization that our actions have consequences, that we hold the power of life and death over the species that share our planet. The dodo bird's tail is a stark reminder of the damage we can cause when we act without consideration for the delicate balance of nature. It is a story of loss, but also a story of enlightenment. It is a reminder that we are not separate from the natural world but a part of it, and that our survival is intrinsically linked to the survival of all species. The dodo bird's tail serves as a stark reminder of the impact of human actions on our environment. The dodo bird, gone but not forgotten, its tail continues to echo in the chambers of time, a poignant reminder of the irreversible damage caused by human recklessness. In the annals of extinction, the dodo stands as a symbol, its name synonymous with the tragic loss of species at the hands of human intervention. Its unique form, its flightless nature, its untimely demise, all have etched the dodo into the collective consciousness of humanity. In the grand tapestry of life, every thread matters. The dodo bird's absence left a gaping hole, an irreplaceable loss in the intricate web of biodiversity. Its story serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance of life and the devastating consequences of tipping the scales. As we remember the dodo bird, let its story be a reminder of our responsibility to protect and preserve our planet's biodiversity. For once lost, no power on earth can bring back the chorus of a silenced songbird.